Welcome back to Locked In Kitchen, guys. Today's guest is actually an old school friend of mine. We grew up together, we went to school together. She gained a significant following on social media for her open and honest fitness journey. So, Amelia, as I know you, or Millie G Fit, <laughs> welcome oh, to the show. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks for having me. No problem. How are you feeling? Locked in kitchen? Yeah, I'm excited. So, Amelia, talk to me about these viral cookies. How do they come about? Okay, so they, I literally started making them in like lockdown, mm -hmm. which is when like, my Instagram was like kind of blowing up. Yeah. And I went on this weight gain journey and I was just like trying out recipes. And I have such a sweet tooth, and I know you said that you don't. Know, <laughs> what the hell? But I have such a sweet tooth. Yeah. So I was always like living off like protein bars and stuff, and I just wanted to make like a snack that I knew had like what ingredients were in there, and mm. it was like you know good or whatever. So I made these like oat banana cookies, and like, you see so many recipes online. Mm. But I think the coconut oil kind of makes it taste different. I don't know what yeah. it is. Like, can I feel you like taste the coconut in it? You, it doesn't taste coconutty, but it's just like the sweet, tangy sort of flavour. Mm. I don't know what it is. Because I think you've cooked these enough now to absolutely say you can nail them. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I know the recipe off my heart. So you know, it's so easy. When, when, we get, when we look at this final product, you can be yeah. like, I don't And know. like, don't just see them as like an, a classic oat cookie. Like, these are insane. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm really going to blow my own trumpet. I'm these excited are insane. to see this. Amelia, <laughs> yes. ingredients wise, talk to me. What are we going to be doing first? Okay, so we mash the bananas first. Okay. Um, so do you want to do that? Yeah, we can do that together. Um, and they've got to be ripe, like the riper the better. So the uglier they look, the better, basically. Yeah, I'm quite weird though, I like the banana green. No, that's absolutely yeah, not uh, okay. So we're going to be adding the... The banana. The banana in. Right, so I'm going to mash this up. Yes, you mash that up. So once we've mashed that, what's the next step? And then I always do my oats, so 130 grams of oats. Mm -hmm. Another reason why I love this recipe is it's so easy to remember. Okay. Like it's like 130 oats. 30 grams of coconut oil, 30 grams of protein powder, 30 grams of chocolate chips, three bananas. And did you, like get that, did you get those measurements through trial and error? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I did. I but mean, like, doesn't things come out, like, the best things come out of trial and error, don't that's they? That's true, that's true. You know my favourite word is serendipity. What is... So what? that means like... Have you, have you guys heard that word or is that just me? I thought <laughs> my favourite word. I thought I was quite good with words as well. Um, no, yeah, so that basically means that like things come out through accident. So like eating ah, less. My favourite word is, um, it's when you live vicariously. Vicariously. Is it vicariously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. So or vicarious. Live, so if you live with some random topic. If you live with someone vicariously, you're like living, living through, through them. them. Yeah, I love that word. So I did psychology at uni and we always used to use that word. It always just came out. <laughs> it's a nice word. So Should bananas in. Perfectly mashed. Don't expect anything less from me. 130 grams of oats. 130 grams. Give those a mix. And so when, when for you would be the perfect time to eat these cookies? Is it a morning snack? Is it a post gym? Mm, it's either mid morning or like after my dinner. I always have something sweet after my dinner. Because I'm a snacker and I'm I'm snacking on bad things at the moment. But these are help. These are relatively like good. Yeah, I'd say yeah, to yeah, you. yeah. What are you snacking on? I eat, I eat a lot of. Um, Cheese. I don't, honestly, Cheese. yeah, I'm, I'm being bad really? at the moment. Yeah. You just get like cheese and crackers. So no, no, not like, not, 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 not <laughs> just like a block of cheese. Cheese and crackers. That's what my dad does though, he'll just get yeah, a block I, of cheese. I, I, I'm an old man. <laughs> Bananas in, oats are in, nicely mixed up. And already I'm seeing it, this is such an easy process. It literally like, is so easy. So this coconut. is the, you will say the special ingredient, the this coconut. You have to make sure it's melted. So I've tried it without, just without melting it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just not the same. I don't think it, goes throughout the whole oats, do you know what I mean? So what's the texture we're we expecting in? We want a crisp but then soft in the middle yeah. or? Yeah, that's exactly what we want. Exactly what we want. <laughs> you know it. I know the game. I feel like you're gonna like these. I feel like I will as well, you know. I like all the flavours here, so. Okay, good. I'm just, I never really choose sweet. Yeah. Like, if I go out to eat, it's two starters, no, no really? dessert. Really? Oh yeah. my God, that's so not me. Yeah, no, I'm not a sweet person. So what's like your, like, worst dessert you could have? I don't like chocolate that much, you know. Really? No. Are you? Oh my god, I've never had anyone. She's ready say that to walk out. Yeah, no, I don't like chocolate that much. <laughs> All right. Right, next step. Next up, we've got some. This some... is not sponsored, yeah. but I do work with them, so I'm going to use my code. You can use my code. <laughs> Mini Shout out. <laughs> um, so we've got chocolate mm -hmm. flavour. I This isn't my usual flavour, so I actually don't know if this is going to be okay, but no, it'll still be fine. I'm still buying. I usually use vanilla. Because I suppose vanilla works better with the cinnamon, right? Yeah, it does. But we're experimenting. I'm sure these will come out useful. It'll still be fine. It's just the consistency we want as well. And how many cookies do you expect to make? One? <laughs> Two? I think about 12. Are you sure? It's how's, definitely 130 how, grams of oats. I think so, yeah. Are you absolutely 100% sure? <laughs> I think we're going to get we get two cookies here, guys. 
Okay, it's fine. No, it is actually, it is actually 130 grams, 100%. Are you 100%? 100%. It's such a small bowl. No, no, no. I, I, trust me, I weighed it out. Okay, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. I say the more the better, but I don't know what Lockin says. Oh, no, we'll do more. As many as you want. Yeah, just mix like that. Okay, and then we'll put some raisins in. Okay. Only a few because we've put quite a few chocolate chips in. We don't want them to be like falling apart. Okay. We love cinnamon. Have you done the cinnamon challenge? <laughs> I was going to say, should we do that? No, we're not doing that. That would be quite funny. We can't shed Should we? Oh my god, it's a big hefty spoon. Alright, let's go smaller. <laughs> Wait, have you done this before? Yeah, you start coughing. Don't try this at home. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Why are you not coughing? Mm. No. You were very um, easily convinced. I didn't even need to try and push you to do that. Nigella Lawson. Okay. Nigella Lawson. Okay. Yeah. That was very well executed. Come on. That's everything. So, cookie mixture's done. I think that Amelia's told me the wrong amount because that looks like we're going to make a portion okay. for just me, but <laughs> we'll see. That's fine. <laughs> so, we're going to spoon this. them out. But anyway, Amelia, talk to me. So, what would you say motivates you to kind of stay within the fitness industry? Like, because like, it's, it's, I feel like people think that it's easy, but it is Oof. obviously me coming into the industry now, it's definitely not. Yeah. So, what kind of gets you up every morning to be like, you know what, um, I want to do this type of thing? It's so cliche, mm. but like, because I started my social media journey through like just working on myself. Mm. It was so like not planned at all. And then through that, I was helping so many people. Yeah. I think that's always just the core reason mm. that gets me up and like helps Because I see the amount of DMs that you get from people and it genuinely yeah. does touch your heart. Because I, I, I remember seeing you when you kind of first were blowing up. I think we were, I was walking to the gym and Clapham. Oh my God, and yeah. And I saw you with Anna and I was just like, you know what? I'm actually so happy for you because it just, oh, sorry. She's making a mess while we're trying to have a nice conversation. Here, but <laughs> no, but I, I, I feel really happy that it's, it, you can see what you're doing has touched so many Aww. and it's it's nice to see that you're in a, in a good place yeah. and you can eat all the food you want to eat. Yeah, so. literally. Because you knew me like when I was yeah. really... I mean, to be fair, we didn't see much of each other like throughout... School. School, school, but then like it was six form time yeah. I was like... But then like during lockdown you didn't see me, did you? Mm, no. And that was like when I was my worst. Yeah. My audience is so... like the age is so vast, like mm. lots of mums will reach out to me as well. Yeah. Either they want to like reach out because of their, their children mm. or they just want to reach out because of their, their own struggles mm. or they just want to help in some way. Like, it's kind of crazy. I didn't really ex expect that. Mm. And it's mad as well that like you get to make a living through like yeah. motivating, helping other people. Yeah. And it is like such a, even for me, like when I get someone send me a photo of a recipe they've done, I'm like, yes, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a proper boost. But It's so nice, it is but good. then it, it does come with like, a lot of pressure because I'm yeah. always like I just want to make sure that I'm really just like everything I put out has a purpose yeah. and then sometimes that gets a bit too much to me and I'm like yeah well that's what I like about your page is that you post the days that you're not having a good day because yeah. I think it's so important to show that you don't you don't just have like all these amazing things like everyone has difficult days mm -hmm. everybody has done things <laughs> everybody has done things everybody makes mistakes <laughs> But it's true though, know, and I think it is, it's, it's important to be open and honest with your audience. Yeah. And I wanted to speak to you a bit about that as well. Like you said, although this industry does come with a lot of benefits, there's a lot of pressure, like mm -hmm. you say. So what would you say are kind of the, the difficulties that you face within the industry as well? Um, the main thing is like comparison, mm. I think. I'm always comparing myself to people, which is so stupid because like, we are literally, we're all we're meant to be different, we're not meant to be the same. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when like, you're always confronted with everyone else's lives on your on your phone. It's so easy to just compare all the mm. time. So that's a struggle. Yeah. Um, I think like literally just making sure that I put time aside for myself and my friends. Yeah. Because like when you're working for yourself, you're and you're, you're on your phone. Like you're always accessing it. Mm. So you're kind of always working. So. So in terms of because obviously you have a lot of people DM you. What yeah. are some of like the stories or like things that you've done that's just like a cool memory of like, I actually really helped this person oh, or... Oh my God, okay, one thing that really pops up. So I went to um, this Gymshark, you know how Gymshark do like lift events, like big, yeah. big events. So I went to this <laughs> Manchester one um, last year yeah. and there was like a whole meet and greet thing. So like we were just meeting those people. I mean, even like people queuing up and mm. meeting, it was like crazy in itself. Yeah. 
But um, this one woman, this one woman um, and her daughter came up to me and they just started bursting out in tears. And then I already knew, I was like, okay, like I need to really be present here. Yeah. And um, the mum was like, we've, we've traveled, they traveled really far, I can't remember from where, mm -hmm. but they said, um, the mum was just like, I had to come here to like thank you personally because you've helped my daughter um, come out of her eating disorder. And then she showed me a picture of her um, in like intensive care. Mm -hmm. And she was like nearly gonna die. And she literally said like, she was watching me every day. Oh my God, I'm literally not gonna cry now. No, it was like don't. crazy. She was watching me every day. And like, that's how she got out of that awful state that she was in. And I, and like that hit that, me. Like, yeah, so I, I like, bet you just burst. I was bursting out crying. And then I had to go to the back and just like get some, some yeah. breathe, like some breath work in me. And then I went back out. But like, that is, I'm never gonna forget that. Cause like that really made me think how much an impact yeah. I and had. That, and that is the exact reason why you do. Crazy. What you do. Yeah, literally. It reminds you, like, it really puts it into perspective because I'm sure you can relate as well. Like, mm. when you're on Instagram or social media, you just see numbers, you don't really see people. Yeah. And so when you're seeing you, people and having conversations in person, it kind of makes you realize and you just gain that perspective again, yeah. don't you? And I think that's why it's so nice that, because I want to talk about Gymshark as well, but doing these events where you can actually meet people, mm -hmm. I think it's so nice and so rewarding. Yeah. So like, tell me about Gymshark, like how did you get approached or how long yeah. have you, because it's been a while. It's you, been like you, three years now. Really? Yeah, wow. Yeah, I know, crazy, isn't it? That is mad. So it was in lockdown. I had um, a job working as like a social media manager at this like um, company. Mm -hmm. And then the week, so they made, they made me redundant. Yeah. Um, and then it was like a few days after that, they signed me. So I had no job yeah. for like a few days and then they signed me and I was like, oh, okay, like this is kind of How, What was that feeling go. like though? Oh Because like, for me, God, Gymshark okay. is like... Like as the, a, in the, the, the fitness brand. industry, that is like, that is what everyone sort of aspires to, yeah. to work towards. Like yeah. they, it's the Gymshark athlete. So yeah, I, and like even when I was at uni, like, because I've always been into fitness, so I always knew about the athletes, I was yeah. always watching them online. And like that was just a dream of mine, but like never did I ever think that I would actually be an athlete. Mm. Three years later. <laughs> Bloody hell, yeah. Like, so what, what does it involve you doing then? So obviously, like, do you have to promote their clothes or how yeah, does, how so does it work in that Yeah, so it's kind of like, the athletes at Gymshark are kind of like the face of the brand. So yeah. we're always wearing Gymshark, we're, we're going to the events, we're, like, I'm doing a panel talk on Monday for them. Yeah. So we kind of just, like, represent the brand in, um, like, an organic way. Mm. But then they, they, like, like, the OG athletes would go to, like, LA and, like, these massive trips and stuff and then lockdown. Yeah. In COVID, so. But you, you get to travel a lot with but them. Yeah, do you get like to travel? You literally, because it's mad to me when I think of you at school, I don't, I, cause no. I just remember you being quite shy. Yeah, I was And just when like, I know you now, it is literally no, it's crazy. like a different person. No, 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 it's literally. Like, it's so nice to see. All my friends say, like, I've completely Not a bad changed. thing being shy either, but it's just nice to see that yeah. like, you've grown. Because I you... knew that, like, I, I knew that I wasn't a shy person. Yeah. But, like, I got such bad social anxiety. Yeah. So that's probably why I came across, like, really shy, obviously. But I knew, like, deep down that I wasn't. I wasn't nervous talking to people. No. It was just when I'm confronted in like social situations. But now you almost it. thrive in it because I see you doing yeah, literal events where there's hundreds I of know. people. And even because I love presenting, I love kind of, especially like when I was an account manager, I love going to like go and pitch to different Yeah, you're, very, like you're a good people's person. Yeah, yeah. I like to think so. But when you see in front of that many people, even I would be like, <laughs> damn. Like, what was the first like event that you did where you were like, this is pretty. I mean, you probably still to this day feel nervous yeah. before, but. What's the biggest one you've done then? Biggest one was Manchester Lift, because mm. there was like thousands, thousands, thousands of people And you there. were leading that then? Well, all the athletes were. Okay. So, like anywhere you'd walk, mm. people would then, you just can't stop anywhere because people were like always stopping wanting pictures. That's and I was mad. like, what the hell is going on? That was definitely the biggest um, in terms of like people. Mm. Um, what other events? Like the thing is like, it all just, morphs into one. Mm. That's another thing why I don't like social media is because I'm not like I'm really trying to be present this year. Yeah. Because I don't want to like lose memories of like in incredible things just because it's like I'm on such autopilot. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I need get to be that. present more. I get that. That's a good one. Um because I I suppose yeah. in this industry it's so go 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 go. Yeah. That you do just like you say, you go into autopilot and yeah. I think that's a big one. That it, for me now it's like you need, even like, cause I cook every day, it's filming, editing, it's like a, it's a lot of work, but you've just got to remember to enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. Like enjoy the journey. Yeah. I almost like the struggle in a way, cause yeah. you, you look back and you think, oh, no, that was so really true. difficult, but now you're like. I don't think, I don't think I could personally have a career where I'm not passionate about my job. Yeah, no. I just wouldn't, it's not a long-term thing for me, like if yeah. I'm not passionate about it. Mm. I actually had um, this talk with the CEO of Fraser Group. You know Fraser Group? Yeah. He's called Michael Murray. And he was saying like, 
how from day one you just you just got to know that you love it. Yeah. And then like obviously there's gonna be days where like you kind of just hate it mm. because of like the stress, but that's just like a temporary feeling. Yeah. It's like true. your long term, if you look back on like how much you enjoyed your past few years doing your career, like that's when you know you're you're passionate about it because it's true. You're I happy. also think though that a lot of people that are, for example, in the fitness industry, they don't necessarily know that that's their passion. But when they get yeah. in, I th for my view, is it actually that your passion becomes when you start doing something frequently, that's when you grow to actually love it. Yeah. I don't think you're, maybe some people say you're born with a passion. Mm. But for me personally, I think like, for example, cooking, it was only when I started cooking like more and more that the passion really grew. Yeah. It wasn't like, bang, I've got a passion for this. No, so true. But it's like with fitness, like when you start lifting or you start feeling good, that's when the passion yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. feel like starts to grow. I think because you learn more about it and then yeah. you naturally just get better at it. Mm. And especially in the industry as well, where you get such rare opportunities. Like when I go to these premieres or events, I feel like blessed because mm -hmm. I'm like, you get to speak to these thought leaders, yeah. like people that have such a different aspect yeah, or yeah. like view on things. So it, you were in quite unique positions, oh God, I'd definitely. say. So. <laughs> so how long are these going to go in the oven for then? Uh, about 10 to 12 minutes. 10 to 12 yeah. minutes. Yeah, on 180. 180. Is this like, this is a lovely oven. So cookies are done. I think, you know what? You thought the portion sizes were wrong. I think oh, they were no. perfect. We made 11. Can I just say, this was, <laughs> this was Amelia's cookies. She just thought I put all the raisins onto this one. I think, I don't know what happened though. I don't know what happened. You like to stand out from the crowd. That's that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like this. I love this that, one. Yeah, that's the one you're going to so have. This, so this recipe, is it's on your app? Yes, it's my app called Vida. Vida. G. So tell me about your app, because I don't actually know what. Yeah, so it's that. still like a little baby. Like it's been going for like maybe three months now. Mm. Um, and it's basically, so how I gained weight was through an online coach. Mm. Um, and I just want to make sure that I can like help as many people as possible. So mm. in order to do that, I wanted to, I wanted to help these girls and like give them access to basically what I had. Mm. So a lot of the girls on my app are wanting to gain weight. So we'll give them like, Bespoke nutrition plans, mm -hmm. bespoke workout plans, like 100% support, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and they love it. And so one of the recipes on here is the cookies. Amazing. On the app is the cookies, so yeah. Well, I hope they taste as good as they look, because they, they, they do look good. And the, the are you going to taste it now? Well, what else are we going to do? <laughs> well, are you, are you just going to look at them? No! <laughs> I'm just do, admire do you, them. Do you want to taste your Sorry, can I just say, yeah. it's, it's nice and... Crispy. Yeah, that's perfect. I can't lie, I think these have come out perfect. So Shape-wise, like, are you happy with them or yeah, do you normally do them a bit? I said they're imperfectly perfect, didn't I? Yeah. Because they're all pretty much the same size. And I know you don't expect a crap, but I still like to do a little. Let's do it together. Okay. Ready? Alright. Oh, <laughs> <Sorry, Ian. laughs> nice little. Beautiful. <laughs> that, was, that was so anticlimactic. I know. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. You know what? You know what? Yeah, you done something there. So what are the plans then for 2024? Talk to me. So, I think we're gonna do the marathon, but the, marathon? the New York one, we're just gonna be really- Why New York? Um, because it's in autumn and it just gives me enough time mm. to, to yeah. train. <laughs> to train, yeah. Um, you haven't done a marathon before, No, I've right? done a marathon before. Okay. And like people would like think that, oh, it's, it's gonna be so easy for me, because mm. I'm like into fitness, but like, no, no. like guys, I, Running. I, when you run now, how long do you run for? The longest I've done is like 10k. Yeah. Um, but I just think so. I so when I was like really underweight, it was so easy for me to run because I was just so light. Mm. But now, like I've gained like literally 20 kg extra. It's so much harder. Mm. But like it's just getting used to it. But do you I just enjoy push it? myself. I do enjoy it. Mm. But like I think I've just been so like in my comfort zone the past year that I really just want to yeah, push myself. That's cool. So yeah. So that's, that's a nice personal goal. What about? Business-wise, career-wise, any exciting projects you can talk about, or um, any? any I really, <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. But I really want to like do documentaries. Okay. About like, yeah, society and like eating, what well, eating disorders and diet culture and stuff. I could see you doing that. Yeah. BBC. Hit her up. BBC. I think you could do that for sure. No, I really want to do that. But so. I think your journey as well is unique because you've. You've doc documented it right mm. from the start of it, so people can really see like, no, exactly. the journey from start to yeah. well. I don't just, I don't like to say finish because I feel like everyone's always evolving. Everyone's mm -hmm. always like oh yeah for sure adapting the end goal. But, yeah yeah. What uh, about you? Me. Go on. Cooking show, keep cooking, Master Chef. Oh. 
I'm still waiting for a response there. <laughs> Master Chef, what are you doing? I don't know, but yeah, just keep, keep cooking, going. keep meeting new people. Mm -hmm. That's the goal, really. Get just fit, keep, mm. as most people say. Yeah. I need to get back into my fitness regime. Especially you know, when. How often do you go to the gym? I, I'm trying four times now. Like, mm. I used to be so good, but with the cooking, it's. But, like, you want something that's sustainable. Mm. And, like, sometimes you can't. You can't like put everything else aside and just focus on the gym. Like you have to make sure it fits into your lifestyle. It's true, and I'm not. And I've learned now as well that life is about balance. And if, yeah. if you don't go to a gym one day, yeah, it's fine. fine. Before I used to be very obsessive. Mm. Now I'm much more like as long as I'm eating relatively clean and I feel good, mm -hmm. then I'm good. Mm. Preach. On these. On that note, let's enjoy these cookies. <laughs> Guys, you've got to make them. So Amelia, <laughs> thank you so much today for teaching me how to make your viral cookies. You are so welcome. Thank you for having me in your lovely home. No, I appreciate you coming. It's a long journey, but these cookies tasted yeah. incredible. Make sure you share them with the family. I will, don't, don't worry. worry that, I'm actually really impressed that you like them. Really? Yeah, I'm what, impressed, I'm not I'm sweet impressed person. myself. There you, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Fair enough. But no, thank you for coming. Be sure to stay tuned for next week for more guests locked in. Can I try? Can I try to squat her? You've got that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to no, 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 not the chocolate. <laughs> she probably stayed like that. <laughs> oh. Oh, so